This is the life. This is what you call a work trip. Today's the day I've got to fly. I have my main bag here that I'm gonna pack all my clothes in, my tripod, a wetsuit, and some other like accessory bits. My Pelican case, which has all of my lenses, camera bodies, and microphones in there with batteries as well. That will come on the plane with me. And then I have my Peak Design travel backpack. But right now I have a plane to catch and it takes off in about three hours. Here's where the battle usually begins because I'm taking this thing on the plane and this thing and they're very similar in size. And the good thing about this bag is it can just pop this together. Maybe if you're lucky you can hide it and get away with it. I always get checked. The amount of batteries and stuff, people just get weirded out by it. That's why you don't turn up late. Next step is to find the lounge. Well, there it is. Let's go see what Kevin got. And they give you the tiny little plate so you don't yeah, get too yeah. greedy. <laughs> You didn't get your champagne, man. <sighs> Thank you, boys. Bye, sell. Yeah. Bye, sell. <laughs> Bye, sell. Still got your sandwich from the airplane. Yeah. Doesn't look super windy. Wow. So the goal today is to do a bit of a photo shoot, but it's going to be a bit tricky. It's always a bit tricky with kiting because you have such a distance between the kite and the rider and you kind of have to make a choice about how you frame them but also with the background and everything and try and get do you want to get the kite in the shot can you get the kite in the shot we have this cool backdrop and the sun that is coming from behind us so to get a good glow we kind of have to be shooting this way we don't want to just be shooting out into the nothing so you want some visual interest hey Ryan. We're gonna get some beautiful shots. Get to the point. Wipe this whole thing off, and it is just fucking soaked. Good thing it's weather sealed. So much sand. So we are here for session number two, and this time we're doing a bit of filming. I've got my handy dad cam here. I think it will. I've done it quite a few times before. This is a bad idea, I think. Not even touching it, it's drifting. Shit. Let me get back here. 
So I'm back at the house, I've already edited some of the photos, but I just wanted to show you my remote setup. I always bring my iPad Pro and my laptop, and you can actually use the iPad as a second screen, which is perfect. So right now I need to finish some product videos, and then I also have to make a vlog, and I also have to do uh, edit some of the photos from the other day, and then gonna go take lunch, and then we're out tonight. Anyway, back to work. <laughs> So one of the things I love about Tarifa is how many bars there are right on the beach. So you can really enjoy a mojito in the sunshine and then go take a dip. So why am I here in Tarifa? Well, I've been doing a lot of product videos for a company called Reading Kiteboarding. And tonight is the opening party for Reedin's flagship kite surfing store. It's gonna be epic. And I have a little time to just take in some of this Mediterranean weather and have a little dip. So I was just flying my drone and the birds go crazy. And literally, I kid you not, a bird just shit on my drone as I was landing it. Look at that. Good morning, it is day three here in Tarifa and it is my last day. Last night, we had the grand opening of the Reed-In kiteboarding store, which was really awesome. There was such a good turnout there. We did a little bit of shooting in the shop. So we're gonna do a quick photo shoot, pack our stuff and head to the airport to go back to the Netherlands and get ready for the next adventure. Packed, ready for the shoot? Oh uh, yeah. Right, so that's it for Tarifa. Back to Tarifa. Back, back to, back to the, the Netherlands. Holland. Here's your song. Crying. Don't you feel like crying? Legend. That is yeah, the, uh, the a good crew. You are good. Don't you feel like crying? Don't you feel like crying? 